Under the new debt law, a so-called super committee of the Congress is to identify more than a trillion dollars in budget cuts by November. Washington, of course, is littered with the wreckage of past deficit committees that went nowhere. What are the prospects this time? We met today with two senators who have been at the center of the deficit debate. Fair to say no politicians on Capitol Hill know more about the budget deficit and how to solve it than Republican Senator Saxby Chambliss of Georgia and Democratic Senator Mark Warner of Virginia. They were among six senators who tried to forge a deal before the president and the congressional leadership took over the negotiations. With a wealth of negotiating experience, we asked them what they thought of the new super committee that will take over the debate now. I think it's going to be very difficult for this select committee to come up with any resolution that is a meaningful resolution. I just don't think the, the recipe is there for anything but deadlock with this committee. I'm not sure the committee's gonna get the job done. You know, I voted for this very imperfect solution because at least it got us through the debt ceiling. Senator Chambliss, you are uh, one of the most conservative members of the Senate. The president came out today as soon as the bill passed the Senate and said there have to be tax increases. What do you make of that? Well, they're not going to be tax increases. Uh, that's one thing this committee will, will not even consider, and I don't think they should. But how can a joint committee accomplish what the president himself and the leadership of the House and Senate were unable to accomplish? Well, I think there is enormous um, bipartisan and, frankly, support from American people who have not been very happy with what we've done. I've been embarrassed by even being a member of Congress over the last few weeks that everybody's been finger pointing as opposed to trying to solve, find solutions. Senator Chambliss, you've been here for a long time. What's gone wrong? What's different right now? Well, too often I think people tend to, to, to listen to uh, outside forces who, who are single-minded or single-focused rather than remembering those 600,000 people in the House that sent them there, or in my case, the 10 million people that sent me here. It's kind of like the famous Winston Churchill quote, you can always count on America to do the right thing after they've tried everything else. Well, we've pretty much tried everything else, you know, and we in the, in the political leaders now ought to get down to the business of doing the right thing. Under the new law, if the Joint Committee on Cutting the Budget fails, massive across-the-board cuts would be imposed automatically.